Hey there everyone, I'm Samuel Johnson and welcome back to the Phantom Perspectives and today we're going to be discussing episode 35 of Danny Phantom, Masters of All Time. And in this episode, Vlad winds up catching the ectoacne again. My guess is there was a resurgence of the disease. Bottom line, of course, okay, in his weakened state he goes to Danny and so forth. He goes to Danny and the Fentons to see if he can gets if they can help if they'll help him but of course Danny doesn't want to help him so to give him a so to give him a put so to kind of give D Danny some motivation it he infects Tucker and Sam as it turns out he managed to condense it though if he's able it will condense the ectoacne I'm I don't know why he can't cure it I don't really understand that because I'm guessing even if he even if you say oh he could isolate it from his own odds are maybe he could figure it out or maybe he could find a way to cure it, but I don't know. Maybe he can't figure out what's causing it or something. And he just took his took some of his own, took some of his own since he has no idea what's causing it. He somehow fi managed to find that though. Even then, if he's able to, con even if he's able to find, if, he if he's able to find the strain of his specific strain of ectoacne in his own genetic structure, odds are I'm guessing he might be able to figure out what was causing it. But that's neither here nor there. Bottom line, with that bit of with that extra bit of insurance, Danny is unfortunately for forced to help him, and by that I mean. His parents come around, and Danny manages to run away after they shoot at him, and then come back in his human form. And they take Vlad, Tucker, and Sam to Fenton Works and put it all in quarantine everything to try and figure out what's causing their ectoacne, but they can't seem to find the source. As such, Danny decide. As such, Danny thinking and Danny hitting on inspiration that they think they won't be able to fix this in time decides that the best way they can get some help is with clockwork. As such, she goes to Clockwork's tower and tries to get and tries to help and tries to and while Clockwork is a bit adhesive, while Clockwork is not adhesive, that's that's what that's glue, that's stuff that sticks together. And while Clockwork is a bit resistant, he ultimately does concede and lets Danny go back and, and decide and lets Danny go back in time. His plan is to go back to the day that Vlad got blasted with the when. Back to the day of the accident, when Jack, where when Jack, Maddie, and Vlad were plant, were in college and making their mini ghost portal, and stop the accident from happening in the first place, so that Vlad never gets his ghost powers, thus he never gets his ectoacne and so forth. As such, he goes there and it turn and he manages to push Vlad out of the way, just the portal goes nuts and seemingly stops everything from happening. As such, Clockwork reset sends Danny back into the present day. And while there's no quarantine tent on around his house, there doesn't seem to be any Fenton works either. As such, he goes inside and finds that the whole place is pretty much just trash. It looks like crap. And he finds Jack there with a case of ectoacne. He's wondering what the heck's going on. He's just he's wondering what the heck's going on, but he keeps trying to tell Jack that I, And Jack's just angry at him, saying, "Don't. what are you doing in here? No one trespasses on my place, yada, yada, yada. But Danny keeps trying to tell him, I'm your son. When, and when... Well, Dan, and he even asks him about the ectoacne, and when Jack says it's a condi- And when Jack asks how he knows about it, he says he knows about the accident, and he says, yeah, and ever since then my life's gone down the hit down the hill. Down, ever since then my life's gone downhill. And then it turns out that- And then Jack transforms. He tra- Specifically into his own version of Plasma. Same white jumpsuit, black gloves, same spiked hair, same white skin, same everything, pretty much. And that pretty much- The short version is that- in whatever what Danny did, it resulted in Jack getting hit. Jack getting ghost powers instead of Vlad. As such, Jack, just now angry, starts attacking Danny, and Danny defends himself, goes ghost, which makes Jack even angrier. But Danny, tr as such, Danny realizes that he kind of screwed up bad, so he tries to send... Oh, hold on a second. Sorry about that. Something I needed to do. Anyway, oh, my cousin might be... My cousin might be... Might call me up here. Might call up here in a minute. Anyway, so... Danny realizes that he kind of screwed up in the past, so he th th says that he has to go down. So he realizes that he has to go see Clockwork again and try and fix this. But unfortunately, when he goes down to the lab, there's nothing there. There's probably the little mini portal is still there, but it's covered in cobwebs and so forth. And it matters where he finds a newspaper clipping of Vlad and Maddie apparently got apparently married. Also, Vlad's a Dairy King in this universe, so it's kind of weird. Upon when Jack comes to attack Danny, Danny man shows him the news clip and shows him the newspaper clipping and man just to calm him down enough so that he can ask him what the heck happened. And so Vlad goes into specifics. On the day that the accident occurred, when after Danny pushed Vlad out of the way, the port we we always saw this before, but 
The blast from the portal ricocheted around the room, and Vlad managed to push Maddie out of the way, saving her, but it wound up hitting Jack instead, causing him to get ectoacne, and like with Vlad in the main in the main timeline, it resulted in him getting ghost powers. His original intent, of course, was to his original intent was to use his powers to become a superhero, like with like Danny, but it wound up becoming a failure. Though Jack suspects that he prob that part of his failure was that he debuted on Halloween. So yeah. However, as such, he decided that he would. As such, he got the place, and by that I mean he scared the original owner out, and decided to inside to live. He, he lived and decided to use that to continue his research. And his ultimate plan is to try and rid himself of his ghost powers. But no matter what he's done, he hasn't been able to do that. Though considering what we learn later in the series, we he probably could have done it if he tried repeating the accident. But bottom line. He's just pretty much stayed away from Maddie this whole time because he feels that with his ghost power she could never love him, and as such, ever since the, ever since he's just been lonely and sad. Danny, of course, says that this is all his fault, and he tries convincing Jack that he that what he that he really is his son by showing him a wa his wallet, which has a picture of which has a whole family pic, has a whole family photo with Danny, Maddie, Jazz, and Jack. Oh yeah, this, oh yeah. Hold on a sec. Okay, that's taken care of. Anyway, as I was saying, Danny shows Jack the so shows Jack his wallet with all the family pictures, and while he and unfortunately, this causes Jack to kind of go off on a rampage again. Like, though I can think it's kind of understandable. This kid is just keeps keeps showing up and keeps showing him all these things. Odds are he's still not fully believing it, and as such, he continues attacking Danny, even utilizing the clone thing, and not and he throw, knocks Danny out of his house. As such, Danny decides that if he can't go find the portal in Jack with his dad, he's gonna try his mom. As such, he flies to Wisconsin, cause Dan, cause Vlad and Maddie still live in Wisconsin, and uh, yeah, cause J and because Vlad's castle was owned by the previous Dairy King, even in the original timeline, it's still there. And Danny manages to land outside there, and he collapses from exhaustion from flying all the way there on the front do on the front door. And so when M Vlad and Maddie come to answer the door after he not after come to answer the door, they find him passed out, and he calls Maddie mom, and so. And while and they decide and while they ask where his parents are and Danny says that they're kind of gone there was an accident and Maddie says that he'll that he can stay with them until they figure out what's going on which yeah what's going on however when Danny asks about a ghost portal or so forth Vlad says that they don't do ghost stuff anymore to the point where he that, so that's kind of obsessive though Matt though J though Danny thinks that he has an though Danny points out that they have an ectoformer nearby and he th doesn't really believe that. As such, that night he goes snooping around, and because even he thinks that even if they were that if Maddie and Vlad got married, his mom would still be a ghost hunter. And sure enough, deep below the castle is a secret lab that his mom made. However, before he complete with the ghost portal, but however, before he can make an escape, his mom catches Maddie catches him and sucks him into a, I guess that little vacuum that her that she utilized before that she used before that could suck up ghosts. And she and when he, and when Danny wakes up, he's st he's st he's strapped to a table with a. I guess a, a, with a laser that can atomize, that can atomize ghosts on her, and she wants to know how, what the heck he's doing here, and who sent him, and yada yada yada. But when, but of course, Dan, she's also she's just dis disbelieving of Danny being her son as Jack is, at, to the point saying that apparently Vl that Jack apparently hates them. It turns out the story that Vlad told her is that Jack hated them and blamed Maddie for the accident from the accident, and she believed him. But Danny can, tells her that that's not the case. And Jack comes in to confirm the story. I'm guessing actually having followed Danny, and it turns out that yeah, that he now actually that after probably thinking it over, he pro he actually does believe that Danny is really his son, that his and Maddie's son. And because they're apparently scientists, they're except they realize they realize that apparently they still bl that Danny's from an alternate timeline, which I'm guessing, which I think is just a lazy way of of, of getting around the fact that getting around the whole explanation of what the heck's going on, which I think is dumb, but whatever they're embracing each other and yeah maddie still has feelings for jack too so they're just kind of happy they realize oh my god we were actually meant to be together this is this guy's our son and again we also and again another bit of a little nice bit of trivia I, I think that's what i was talking about actually dan we learn who name we kind of look we, this is kind of where we indirectly learn who named which kid like because when danny says that he's his, when he's that he's jack's son jack mentioned that if he, if he had a son he wouldn't name him danny that's dumb so odds are maddie was the one that should get named danny and then for Jasmine, it turns out that Jack named her because he had a cat that because he has a because when Danny talked to Jack and telling him about the good old days, he said, "Well, my cat Jasmine won't talk, won't let me talk to her anymore." 
Which means that he most likely named Jazz in the main timeline. So, anyway, yeah. Bottom line, they realize that the best way they could... They, they realize that if Danny goes to see Clockwork, he might be able to fix all this. But it turns out there's still one hitch. Vlad is still nuts. And this is still nuts. It's pretty much just a universal concept that he's a giant weirdo. As he, as he manages to find his way into the lab... And he starts just blasting everyone with the Fenton Ecto form, with the with the Ecto former. And while they are, and while they do try to tell him that none of this is right, that none of this is that this is the way it's supposed to be, Vlad doesn't really care. He likes this reality. He likes being married to Maddie, and he doesn't want to put everything back to the way it was. So he try so as such, he manages to get Danny back onto that table and tries to kill him too. But Jack comes in and fends him off, and fights him off. Which causes Jack, which causes Vlad to turn the laser on Jack, but Jack and Jack managed to protect himself with a with a shield, but the blood, but he's still at least knocked unconscious. It implied that he's probably dead, but again, he was still a he put up a shield. He seemed fine, like I'm get, he seemed fine and but, but he seemed fine though. Again, he was blasted right into a ghost portal, causing it to overload, which is that causes it to overload. But still, I think he, I think I'm guessing that it's kind of fifty fifty. I'm. I'm thinking it could be kind of 50-50. Like, he could be dead, but I'm thinking he's probably unconscious, but whatever. Either way, Maddie is pissed off at Vlad and and well, and just, and just fed up with his crap, grabs him and throws him into the ghost portal, which implies that he's killed, but whatever. It's an alternate timeline. It's not canon. As such, Maddie lets Danny go, gets, sets Danny free and tells him to go see Clockwork that he can fix all this. And... While Danny is able to go into the ghost portal and see Clockwork, all Clockwork can really do is just reset everything the way it was, make it so that Danny did not reset the reset the accident to before to the way it was before Danny interfered. But before, but beyond that, he can't do anything else. Which Danny, which of course, as such, even still in the back of the present day, Vlad, Tech, Tucker, and Sam are still infected with ecto acne. As such, Danny has no idea what to do until he gets an idea, because er, because earlier and Danny managed to receive it. In terms of the, we actually learn what caused the accident in the first place. Jack, distracted by Maddie, went to go get what's supposed to be an ecto purifier for the engine for the ghost portal. But rather than grabbing the ecto purifier, he grabbed a can of diet soda that just happened to be nearby and wound up pouring that in instead, which is what caused the accident in the first place. As such, Danny, see, Danny sees this and gets an idea, and goes back to the present day. And lets his parents and tells his parents that those the, the, those ecto impurities that you've been picking up are they consistent with diet soda? And it turns out that that's exactly it. And they realize that all they really have to do is utilize the the proper ecto purifier, and they can fix it. And so they give Dan, they give Vlad, Tucker, and Sam the prop a dose of ecto purifier, and the ecto acne clears up, and the ecto acne ends up clearing up. However, Vlad is still incredibly weak from it, and so he tries to do, get call temporary ceasefire. Danny and Danny's response is just to chuck. Is just to chuck him all the way back to Wisconsin. As such, the episode ends with Danny joining his parents for an '80s night at a restaurant called the Material Grill, and just kind of, just kind of glad that, just kind of respect, kind of getting more respect for his parents' family because earlier, for past, because earlier they barged in a nasty burger wearing the hipster, the '80s clothes, which embarrassed Danny and so forth. But overall, I actually really like this episode. Yeah, there are a couple of consist inconsistencies when you try and stop. There are a couple things that kind of make you scratch your head when you stop and think about them. Like, why couldn't Vlad figure out what was causing the impurities if he was able to condense his, if he was able to condense his disease into, into a transmutable form? But, or, or the fact that, or the fact they're just kind of washing over the, or just kind of going, br brushing past the whole thing with alternate timelines and so forth. But, uh, and of course, you can make the argument why Danny still exists if his timeline doesn't exist. Though I, though I personally like to go with multiverse theory. Like his universe still is out there. It's just that with his actions caused him to cut off access to that one, so now he's in this one. But yeah, either way, um, but yeah, I, I pretty much don't, I pretty much don't care about that. He's pretty much you could just say he's a cosmic leftover, or whatever. Bottom line, I'm okay with it. I don't have any problems with that. But honestly, one of the big things that I like about this episode is just the what if factor. I, again, I'm a big fan of what ifs in alternate universes and comics, and time, and of course the time travel, you went back in time and screwed something up kind of scenario, is is a kind of st thing that I like, because I always like seeing how things are different because of this minor change, because of this change, and it was really just a minor thing. Danny went back in time and pushed Vlad out of the way, and the end result is his entire timeline was changed. And on top of, and as such, you can see just kind of how things have fallen apart. And on top of that, I just kind of like seeing Jack as Plasmus. And of course, while he does have his ghost powers, it's still Jack. 
while he does kind of carry some of Vlad's anger with him well, because he's sad and lonely like Vlad was in the main timeline, at the same time, it's still Jack. He's still kind of a doofus. He's still a moron. He still cares about his kid. He still cares about his family. Like, because again, one of the things that I like, again, again, one of the things that I like about the Again, one of the stronger points of the series is always just the bond between the Fenton family, and so like with the exa like an example when Vlad was getting ready to kill Danny with that with the ghost whatever the, the laser, but Jack Jack comes in and saved his Jack comes in and immediately saves him, and the fact and I also and again and I do openly admit when J when Maddie and Jack actually reunite and realize that they were supposed to be together and they have a family in another timeline, it's actually kind of cute just them kind of hugging like. A good example, like, a good comparison I could think of is, like, uh, maybe not a great example, but in, like, in Flashpoint. I, like, in one, or specifically the Batman tie-in. Like, if you don't know the Flashpoint universe, the whole premise that Barry Allen, the Flash went back in time, stopped his mother from being killed, but he pulled in the entire Speed Force when he did it, and it caused a crack across time, resulting in the lives of all the people closest to him being altered just enough so that it resulted in a completely altered present. And one of those alterations is that Bruce Wayne died in Crime Alley instead of his parents, resulting in his dad becoming Batman and his mom becoming the Joker. Well, one of the well in the tie-ins, there's actually a brief moment where they, where the parents actually meet up, and Tom, and Thomas actually tells actually tells Martha that he has the opportunity to make it so that Bruce that they end up dying instead of Bruce. And the whole time they've been pretty much bickering throughout this whole thing. They're complete enemies. His mom's quite insane, but just that moment, that, just the the idea that Bruce might be alive in another timeline and it might co even if it costs them their lives. It makes her kind of briefly return to sanity as she realizes that, uh, as she decides that, that she tells her son, as she tells her husband to do that. And again, it's not a great example because that they do because she does relapse and she learns her son is Batman in that other timeline. But that's just another example. It's just nice seeing them kind of have that, as have that revelation that they could have that things could be better in another world and that they actually were to be together. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked by another comic. But well, it's just something. It's just nice and cute. And again. They're just nice and cute, and I do like Vlad, and I I do like Vlad as a villain, and he actually still is at his peak before in both timelines, as he actually as he as he actually as he continue as he still holds some power over Danny with what happened to his with what happened with his with his with his, with his with, by putting his family in by putting his friends in danger, and then the other timeline when he learns that they're trying to change everything back to the way it was, and he just goes off the rails and says and tries to stop them. It's actually nice. He's still the villain, despite the fact that he has no ghost powers, and it's it's just really nice and shows that this guy is just pro that this guy is most likely just nuts, which I kind of like. And he, which I, I just it's just kind of humorous. And on top of that, and speaking of that, it does have some nice good jokes here and there, like again mentioning how Jack that never wanted to name Danny, wouldn't what like how he said if he never wanted to name his kids Danny, like for example. And I like another example, like another <laughs> was actually kind of funny is that. Well, and he say, was when he encounter when he meets up with Danny and Maddie later on, and say, "So where's our other dimension? So where's our other universe? So where's our other timeline daughter?" Well, T Timmy, it's Danny. Yeah, it's still dumb. <laughs> it's it's just nice. It's still cute. And it's good. It's just a nice, and it's full of a lot of nice moments like that with Danny and Maddie being embarrassed and their parents are showing up in eighties memorabilia and so forth. That's all nice. That's all nice. And again. Again, I just whole, like the whole structure of the episode. Just kind of seeing this what if, how things would have gone if things just went this way instead of that way. Seeing Danny trying to put it all back to normal and just all that nice stuff. Again, it does have like a couple minor issues here and there, but on the whole, I think it's a pretty good episode and I think it's worth your time. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'm Samuel Johnson and tune in next week as we actually see a, another, as we see another alternate ghost person, kind of. It's a little complicated, but it does involve Vlad. So, yeah. I'll see you next week. Take care.